Uh, let's talk about Jim Crockett. Uh, this is uh, a legendary promoter, you know, multiple generations. He's now going to be, uh, you know, top banana in the NWA. And I guess right behind Vince McMahon's World Wrestling Federation. Or was that the most fun creatively you had? Was it as financially rewarding as it had been before Crockett? Or was that, you know, the, the peak of your career before, you know, you guys had an impasse in 88, would you say, Tully? Um, well, the, the wrestling business changed because of the superstation. Right. And the, the thing that, without getting off on a rabbit trail or diving down a rabbit hole, all the, the smaller territories were affected by what went on on the superstation. Right. The farther West, they didn't get affected quite as bad because of the time changes and they didn't have the six Oh five, but East coast and central time, uh, six Oh five and five Oh five. It was just unbelievable. And the thing that the smaller territories did that was probably a mistake on their part is they would bring uh, a match in like Dusty against me. And what that would do would say, these guys are off national television because we always talked about being on national television. And these are the big time guys on national television and here's their match versus, uh, and they put them on a main event above their other guys in the local territory. And I think that ultimately killed them all because if they would have brought dusty in and wrestled their top heel, you would have made their, their people up on the same level. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I mean, I I brought I can remember one time you, I brought Oli and Tommy Rich in. Well, Oli wrestled Wahoo, and I wrestled Tommy Rich into Southwest Championship Wrestling, be, to elevate us. I didn't want to be, you know, have Oli and Tommy Rich wrestling each other. Uh, so anyway, and then as as you did that, then Crockett took over all these territories. I don't know the the whether he bought them or what happened, but now you become the national uh, television forte for wrestling, medium for wrestling, and then with the USA Network, the WWE, which I don't, you probably know, I, I think Arn does, but Southwest Championship Wrestling that my dad and I put together was the first wrestling show on USA Network. Wow. And uh, and we were too small and didn't have enough money between the two of us to pay our TV bill. And then Vince went and paid the bill and got the TV time and has been pro pretty profitable with it <laughs> since then. <laughs> It worked out. Yes. And, uh, but now you've got the two companies that both have national TV shows. And, uh, then I think in the, in the nineties, which I was gone, uh, but the, the companies, the TV, the, the business changed because the TVs became the product rather than the house shows. Does that make sense? It does. Let's talk. And I hope bit. I answered your question. Oh, no, for sure. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.